Okay, welcome back to part five of my birthday special. When we last left off, I wanted to hunt more than $100,000 in the Price is Right decades for the Wii, and that was back in the first segment. Now we're going to do the second segment, and for the third time on camera, and for the first time since Halloween, when I did the special, we are once again going to play the Scooby-Doo Funland, the Freaky Frights game, and this time I had the Blu-ray player on, but... This Blu-ray, even though it's a DVD, the Blu-ray player can play d regular DVDs as well as Blu-rays that we got. I think it will look sharper quality, too, so let's give it a go. Oh, and join our Mystery Ink gang friends again. Shaggy, Scooby, Fred, Velma, and Daphne are all waiting. Oh, sorry, I forgot. I can't skip, so I have to... See, you do have to go through the the disclaimer again. It may take multiple parts, but... Okay, now we can do it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can't skip past the... Okay. Let's enter the... Now, we need to skip the intro because we're... All right. All right. Story mode, we go. We know, we know how it works, and it's only gonna be me, Fred, as we know guides, but we know what to do. Okay, player one. We need your help to find clues and catch the creepy ghost clown. Search these four locations and uncover clues along the way. And together, we'll get to the bottom of this. And place. since birthdays... Go to search for dude, and since birthdays start with food, let's go to the Groovy Snack Shack and see what Shag and Scoob cook up for us. Alright, Shaggy. Hey, Scoob. All this running around for monsters and searching for clues has made me hungry. Me too. Like, what do you say we check out what's on the menu with the Groovy Snack Shack? And make ourselves a super delicious Scooby snack. Scooby-Doo? <laughs> and we're off. Here we go. Wow. Okay. Right, that's one super duper sandwich, Scoob. It's a real doozy. Sardines, pickles, and mustard. Yummy and that makes a great sandwich. Sardines, pickles, and mustard. Let's keep that in mind. Now that's what I call a mouthful. Hey, Scoob, I want one too. How do you make that? <laughs> okay, Shaggy. That's okay, Scoob. But I sure would love to have one exactly like yours. Maybe one of our friends can help me build an identical yummy sandwich. Here's what you gotta do. Like, first tell me what ingredients Scooby put on the bottom. Before I select, let's let Shaggy say his phrase before. Let's see that. Like, man, I'd make a decision if I were you. Here are the sardines. No ghost in the sandwich. It was really pickles. This should just about do it. But do you remember what goes on top? A chimney. <laughs> no, no chimney in the sandwich. You, Scooby's not faking a Bert from Mary Poppins who's chim chim tree. So let's go with the mustard. That was the last one. That's like one crazy sandwich, just like Scooby's. You are one master chef. Now, what do you say we get back to hiding from that Okay, ghost clown? Fred's waiting for us, so let's see what he has to s We know what he says. Hey, gang, this scrap of paper we found could be a clue. As you get closer to solving this mystery, part of the message on the paper will be revealed. Let's see what it says. Here's your first clue. To turn over, and now what gang member has something to say? It's... Shaggy. Hello, Fred. Like this sounds like the clue we found on the movie set with the crazy ape man. It drove us bananas. 
<laughs> Banana is it quid Shaggy, I guess you weren't visiting the weren't wouldn't it wouldn't be Scooby Doo meets Despicable Me minions and Gru would be waiting. <laughs> Banana. You know he's asking Fred. How can I ever it's, forget that mystery? But we better keep searching for more clues. Somehow, yeah, Daphne remembers this a lot. But we're not gonna go. Let's go to the fortune teller now, and meet Madam Mystery again. Come on, gang. Let's check out Madam Mystery's fortunes. I see her crystal ball, Freddy, but Madam Mystery's not here. Maybe that's why her last name's Mystery. The only mystery is why we have to go near this spooky place. Mm -hmm. Right, Scoob? <laughs> spooky. This Welcome, my pretties. Welcome. Come here. Okay. Let's see what's in the ball. Right this way. I may have what you want. Like how about a menu for me and my pal? Hmm. Interesting. Crystal ball. It's make me least... wait, or the clue may dissipate. Like you can put my food on display. You mean you could put a my fly clamster pro from yesterday on there? Can you figure this out. I wonder if this creepy fortune teller is. I think that's a guitar. It's not my fault. I know this. Don't I've got. I know that. Alright, Velma. I have a hunch that your answer will strike just the right chord. Yes, it will. Did you know the answer? Yes, indeed. Great job. Now let's get to the bottom of this ghost clown mystery. Okay, Fred. Show us the next part of the clue. Let's take another look at that scrap of paper. <laughs> More about. Here's an... This rings a bell. It's hauntingly similar to that creepy robot we encountered. Remember him? Yeah, of course, Velma. It's Mr. Jenkins, the caretaker. Yeah. How could I ever forget that mystery? But we better keep searching for more clues. Yeah. It definitely does. Good thing you react. And speaking of Velma, let's join her in the House of Haunts! Because that's where she... Because she's with... So... Come on, Shaggy and Scooby. Let's check out this spooky old house of hidden haunts. Besides, I don't even like houses with unhidden haunts. <laughs> Come on, you guys. I have a sneaking suspicion there may be a clue hidden in here. Then why not let your suspicion sneak in while we sneak out? <laughs> what a mess. I've never seen so much junk in one place. But remember, keep an eye out for possible clues. If you find one, remember to press enter. All right, let's see what's there. For all we know, it could be that test tube. Test tube, which is right over there. Statue. Right there. See now. You're right, Shaggy. Or it could even be that Buddha statue. The Buddha is right there too. <laughs> I have a hunch it's time to get out of here, man. Let's get Yeah, it is, but we gotta Quick. We need your help. Use your flashlight to find the test tube. I think it was right there. You did it! Like I feel like a hero! On second thought, I feel like having a hero sandwich! <laughs> Will you clue? And now it's time to search Funland for more clues about that ghost clown. And we do get another clue. We have one more clue to go after this one. Okay, gang. Let's give that clue another look. Here's the third part. The ghost clown. Which is what we're after. Why do I feel like I've seen this before? Chinkies, remember when we ran into that creepy puppet master? He sure pulled our strings. Of course. Here we go. It's old Mr. Pietro. Okay. Yeah, but we solved that mystery. And we can figure out this one, too. We just gotta keep looking for clues. That's why we're one more clue away from solving it, Fred. And let's go to the circus. Daphne will will ask the question as usual. Let's see what sound the gang hears. 
Hey gang, let's check out the circus tent. I have a hunch we can find a clue to solve this mystery. Like my hunch says there's a ghost in the sideshow. So call me Bob No Show. <laughs> Okay, let's listen carefully to the following sound. It looks like a saw, if you ask me. I know. That must be the sound of a snowmobile. I don't think so, oh. Freddy. I think it sounds more like a motorboat. Okay. Like you guys need to get the wax out of your ears. Someone's cooking up something delicious in the kitchen, and it's just boiling away. Okay, there's two. I think it's a snowmobile. Oh, like great guesses, but only one can be right. Who do you think got it right? Is it Fred? No. Thelma? Wait, yes. Or Shaggy? No. It would be Fred. I think it's a snowmobile, so go with Fred. That's right. Fred heard it correctly. It's the sound of a snowmobile. And we saw snowmobiles earlier in the special in the showcase for The Price is Right. Let's stop now. Let's keep searching for more clues. That was in my game, of course, not today's episode. We're getting close. Here's the last one. Let's take another view of that clue. Search for the f frown. I think we're really close to solving this mystery. Okay, time to move on. Looks like you're a real pro at gathering clues and solving mysteries. Let's see if you can figure out this next mystery. You've seen us in action, chasing and capturing the villain during three of our most famous cases. Let's see if you can remember and match up the suspects with their disguises. <laughs> so check out this lineup. Okay, here we go. On the top row are three villains we've gone up against in the past. Let's see if that would be the them. Puppet Master villain. In. That's it. Now check out these three suspects. Only one of these suspects was behind this disguise. Can you remember which one? Old Mr. Pietro! Wow, you did it! We ought to take you with us to solve our next mystery. Mm -hmm. Too bad there's no more room in the mystery machine. Here's the last part of the mystery clue. All right. To turn over more about the ghost clown, search for the frown upside down. Three straight rhymes that rhyme. Way to go! Wait till the rest of the gang sees the entire clue. Let's catch up with them and finally solve this mystery. Okay, gang. According to that mystery message we found, the ghost clown must be hiding somewhere near the entrance of that roller coaster. Shaggy, Scooby, you start at this entrance and the rest of the gang and I will set up a trap at the other end. Just use the arrow buttons on your remote control to navigate your way through the hidden tunnels. Press the go button when you're ready to start. Good luck. Let's do it. Boy, how did me and Scoob end up here? Yikes! Watch out for that ball! Let's get out of here! Ah, 
Goodbye, Shag. We're almost done, and the Evergang members are ready to start the trap. There we go. You got it. With Shaggy and Scooby's help, of course. It's Harry the Hypnotist. Looks like he wanted revenge on the Funland owners for sending him to prison. As the ghost clown, he knew he could ruin Funland. Where's Shaggy and Scooby? I think they're still recovering from that roller coaster ride. Maybe a Scooby snack or two will help bring them to their senses. While they catch their breath, we think you deserve the certificate making you an honorary member of the Mystery Inc. Game. What do you say, Scooby? Scooby Dooby Doo! Well, hey, gang, that was great fun. Don't forget to search here for more clues. Freddy, there sure are a lot more things to investigate back at Funland. I'll say. The shorts, like I need a break from all of this. Scoop and I are headed back to the Groovy Snack Shack to share a sardine and marshmallow fudge sandwich. Mm. Hey, you want to join us? Well, I'm gonna. Well, that's the end of this segment. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'll see you all again for the next segment of the special, which I'm gonna go back to the Wii for the next one. I bet you know what it's gonna be. See you then.